Rondo, three wins on the bounce. What's yeah. the mood like in camp right now? Oh, uh, camp is going good. Good spirits. We all, you know, once you win, everything's good when you win. Really not stressing. We're in a good mood. What's impressed you the most about the way the team has still been able to pick up these wins, even without the likes of Daniel Adozi and Mike Vigor and also Coach Kapulas as well? Uh, how much uh, we came together. Um, we know that we was three men down. Uh, we had to play together as a team and the twins, man. It's just everything is falling together. We just showing off some of the hard work that we put in during the season and uh, it's just starting to roll together. Yeah, it really seems like players have also stepped up their game in the absence of those guys as well. Right, right, as we're supposed to. Uh, everyone's supposed to do their job. When people are not here, we're supposed to pick up another slate and just keep it rolling. And um, I'm proud of everyone that's, that's doing that. Well, this weekend, it's a huge game against Cheshire Phoenix on Friday. A win could seal your place in the BBL playoffs, and the game's live on BBC Sport. They don't really get much bigger than this, do they? Right, exactly. And we lost our last two games on the BBC Sport, so we know what's ahead of us of clinching a spot and just showing again what we can do on national TV. The last two times we failed, but this time we're going in there to handle business. What are you expecting to see from Cheshire on Friday? Because, of course, they're chasing the playoffs as well, so it's a must-win game for them too, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so with teams like that, uh, they're going more freely. Uh, they really not. There's not a lot of pressure on them. It's more pressure on the teams that's in the playoffs or just trying to clinch the spot. So we know that they're going to come in there hard, and they have Gettys back, which he wasn't there the last time we played. So we just got to go in there, focus, and, and be prepared for what they have coming towards us. You talk about their personnel, they've got a lot of talented players in their squad, particularly the likes of CJ Getty, didn't play in that last game against Flyers. How do you go about slowing a guy of his size down? Uh, we just got to pick this pace up. No reason to, to, to grab the ball and off the rim and walk down. We got to have a high up-tempo game to get him running up and down and get him tired. So that's what we, that's the game plan is. That's the game plan every game, but we have to really do it this Friday to, to keep Gettys moving slow <laughs> and you've uh, and you mean you've played them twice already this right. season and uh, three times in fact this season you right. beat them twice in the last month so does right. that give you added confidence going into Friday's game oh definitely it does it definitely but also you know it is always hard to beat a team three times in a row so we know what we have to do we have to stay mental in the game 80% of the game is mental so that's one thing we have to have is when we're going into the game is mental it's not the it's not the playing part it's just, it's to stay mentally there and just knowing that the game, if you can play out a result and get a win, that it puts you in the in the postseason, that must be all the motivation the guys need right now, right? Oh yeah, definitely. That's what we're we're playing for. We're playing for to get in the playoffs, and then we're playing to to get the championship. So it feels good that if we, when we get this win, we'll clinch the spot. And then just looking past Cheshire, of course, three huge games coming up as well, like Surrey and, and Sheffield and Worcester, right, right. all in the space of a week. So the next two weeks or so could really uh, be a huge factor in, in, in who gets the seedings in the, in the playoff race. Exactly, exactly. So and that's another goal that we have is to finish in the top six. And it looks like if we win out the rest of the season, we could finish in the top four. But not to look that far ahead, we got to take this Cheshire game very seriously. But we know that these next couple of weeks is, is going to be big games for us.